and whatever bike you get, thrash it, look after it, and ride it. Ride it hard, ride it everywhere. Pay attention, stay safe on the road, stay, stay visible. Don't wear no black lycra, stay high vis, man. Stay safe and just ride that motherfucker. Thrash it, wear it out. Make it the most worn Trekker Monda in the UK or the most worn giant defy in the UK. Wear it out, ride it hard, look after it, maintain it, safety check it, and fucking enjoy it above all. If you have any bike rides questions, get a copy of my Dune Riders Lean Body Bible. It's the ebook that includes the latest bike rides guide. I update it all the time. You know, I update it every every few weeks and once I've done it every time there's a new product in the market that I definitely rate. So it's con constantly updated so if you do buy a copy, whenever I update it, you will get sent the latest update. So this updated that again uh, a few weeks back. So yeah, get a copy of that. It's got all the best tips, best products, best training over the last 20 odd years of racing bikes and helping helping thousands of people get the best bike for them. So it's the best buyer's bike guide, bike buyer's guide on the market because it's, it's total straight up legit information. So there you go, get a copy save so much money and time by buying the wrong stuff. Just learn from my mistakes. Get a copy of my ebook, read it, read it, read it, and enjoy. All right, let's get to the video. Okay, so we have comments here. Hey, Duranon, uh, looking for my first road bike. Should I get LAR, Amanda LR 5 disc? It's 1,700 Great British Pounds or Defy Advanced 3. So this is a, lives in the UK. So when you're buying a new bike, always got to understand where are you riding, what sort of riding you want to do, what's your goals here? So Using the wet, not an expert. Soon will be. Let's get it going. So we're going to do the Trekker Monda ALR. It is an alloy frame bike from Trek, which I do rate. It's probably actually coming out of the Giant factory. Trek make these bikes uh, with Giant. All right, so we've got a disc, hydro disc, which is fantastic. With Shimano, it's got the new Shimano 105 group set, which I'm a fan of. And so yeah, you can put a 34 cassette on there, you can put a 40 cassette on there if you wanted to. You can put absolute black. Uh, 46 30 chain rings on there if you wanted to, but for the UK, there's not that many steep hills compared to Thailand, so the gearing is probably going to be okay. But if you need to, then you can put some absolute black 46 30 rings on there if you found the stock gearing not good enough. All right? So it depends where you live. But anyway, it's a nice bike, it's alloy frame. Uh, let's go look at the giant. All right, so we've got this is the uh, this is the Defy Advanced 3 2019 it's carbon frame, carbon frame 4. Uh, we're talking group set. We've got the Tiagra group set on there, which is still really good. What brakes do we have on there? Do we have the con conduct conduct? Mm. Interesting name. Conduct disc. We have a giant wheel set, uh, which is which is probably going to be a bit heavier potentially than the uh, than the Trek. I would go personally. I would go the Amanda. I would go the Amanda because it's got the better group set. Which is going to feel a bit nicer. The frame's going to be pretty good as well. The giant's going to be good as well, but I would go the Amanda personally. Or if I was going to get a giant, I would spend a bit more money, get some, get the 105 group set. You're better off, you know, even though it's a great frame, it's worth the upgrades. I would spend more and get uh, hydro brakes. Is this hydro brakes? Let's have a look here. Let's have a look here. Uh, I would get this one. So I'm not really answering your question, but I would go that. I would spend the extra money and get the. Uh, Still don't have hydro brakes. Still got mechanical. So I would, I don't know if for the if you're gonna get a disc brake bike, you might in in your, you, know, you want disc brakes or disc brakes for better braking. I said my max screen, my max screen's fucked. But uh, I would I would spend the extra and get the not the Defy Two because that's not good good brake. Why does Giant put shitty brakes on their bike? What are they doing? They make such good product. What are they doing this year? What's Conduct SL? What, what's going on here? Are these a hydro brake? What's going on? Am I making some something wrong here? I don't know, maybe maybe Duran has got it wrong, but these brakes look shocking. Are they even hydro brakes? What's the deal? They don't even look like hydro brakes, like that's what? What's giant doing? What's giant doing? Non hydro brakes? I mean I'd have to use these brakes to really give an honest opinion, but my first impression is a bike that much money doesn't have hydro brakes, cable. Hydro comp I don't know. I'd have to ride them. I'd have to ride them to really give you an honest opinion. But my first opinion is I would buy this bike if the brakes aren't that good. I don't know. The brakes are good. I don't know. I've got to ride the bike first. But my first impression is the brakes are going to be not so good, um, which is surprising. Why don't they just put on Shimano brakes? I mean, <laughs> like, I don't understand that. What companies out there, Trek, Giant, Cannondale, Specialized, 
just fucking use Shimano shit, alright? Or use SRAM shit. Shimano breaks the calipers, they fucking work, just use them. Stop stop trying to cut costs and use whatever. But hey, who knows, these giant breaks might be the best thing ever. But I just I doubt it. I doubt it. Because it's pretty hard to fucking beat Shimano. Anyways. So I'll be I'll be going the trek because it's got better group sets, it's got better brakes, and you're buying the bike for disc brakes, aren't you? So that's in that instance then the trek has better brakes because you're buying this bike for brakes, otherwise you'd go you know, otherwise I'd recommend the Trek Amonda uh, direct mount brake. But if you're, gonna, if you're gonna be riding in wet roads, uh, we're gonna go with the Trek disc. You'll want that, so let's go with that. Uh, so the group set, the Shimano one, it's fantastic. Uh, alloy frame, lifetime warranty, and the Giant has a lifetime warranty as well. You could put fenders on this, you could put some crud road racer Mark III fenders on there. Uh, the Montreux saddle, I like, you might not like it. Uh, doesn't come with lights, but these Bond Dragon Bond lights are great. Got that little, uh, stem blender combo thing uh, color wise this just comes in that this gray which is pretty piss poor effort from Trex Trex uh, effort because I would say they should put on the uh, you know radioactive yellow imagine that imagine this bike is in radioactive yellow or something radioactive pink or something it has some bright colors I mean it's 2019 we're using this matte gravel gloss quicksilver I mean, maybe it looks better in real life it's not a bad paint job but I would like it to be you know, Trek do such good paint jobs. They do such good paint jobs. Why aren't they showcasing it? You know, I don't know. And the purple one looks good as well. But it's not a bad looking paint job. But Trek do such good paint jobs. So why are they? I don't know. That's my head in. Just like Giant makes such good bikes. And this paint looks alright to me. But I don't. I don't understand. I just. I don't know. Why is Giant releasing these? bikes without Shimano brakes. There's got to be, a hope, a hopefully there's a good reason for it, that they actually brakes are actually better than Shimano. So if someone, if someone from Giant can let us know, are the Shimano brakes bet, bet worse than the Giant ones, and that's why Giant's gonna, now going to use our own brakes, because the Shimano ones are shit. Maybe that's a possibility. Maybe someone at Giant's like, nah, we can engineer a better brake than Shimano, and we're going to use it. Because we, we don't think the Shimano brakes are good enough, so we're going to use it. Or, and that'd be the ideal situation, or is a situation where like, we can cut costs here, we can get some cheap brakes, put it on there, save money, increase profit, fair enough, but it, that's that's going to be bad, because you couldn't, you know, a person's buying disc brakes for disc brake efficiency, effectiveness, power, and you're going to downsize that, I don't know, that's, uh, maybe I'm, I'm making an assumption here, but if my assumption is correct, then that's poor, if my assumption is wrong, then I take it all back, and that's great. So there you go, that's, that's what I would get based on the data I can see all I'm presented with here. I'd have to test ride both the bikes to really give you my 100% feedback. But just looking at it, I would say, you know, the track is going to go. If you buy the Giant, it's not going to be a bad bike. It's not it's going to be a fantastic bike. But if you're living in the cold UK wet and you want that rain dependability of disc brakes, then I would say get the Shimano ones because in my opinion they're the best in the market at the moment. The SRAM good as well, the SRAM Hydro brakes work is good as well. Uh, let's have a look at the tech we get on here. Uh, internal cable, extends life of cables, uh, blah, 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 blah. extra. Uh, um, let's have a look at the. Oh, it's another color as well. You can get this purple color and a black one as well. If I was going to buy the bike, if you bought my Bike Rise Guide, then I do rate the Amonda highly. This is my favorite bike. It's going to be super light, direct mount brakes. But if you're riding in the wet a lot, then the brakes aren't going to last as long. The rims aren't gonna last as long as a disc brake bike. So if you're living in dry to mid wet, then go with this. If you're living in heavy wet and you're gonna be riding commuting in the heavy wet, then yeah, get hydro discs for sure. If you're gonna be commuting in the wet, hydro discs all the way. The Giant is a fantastic bike, very comfortable. These Giant FIs are very super comfy, uh, pretty lightweight frames, but the wheel sets are quite heavy and these brakes, I'm not sure. They're, they're untested charters, what is for me. So what bike would I buy? I would buy the Trek. Um, and to give my full-on 100% conclusion, I'd have to test ride both bikes. If you'd already bought the Giant, then that's not a bad move, because you can change the brakes out. <laughs> so you can change the wheels out over time, things like that. So it's not a bad bike. It's, it's definitely a good frame, excellent frame. Both bikes have excellent frames that are gonna last you a long time. Both got lifetime warranties both performance frames, comfort, and they're going to 
yeah, they're going to be worthy of longevity, and they're going to fit fenders. The Crud Road Racer 3 Mark III Fender. So that's it. If you want more information on bikes, get a copy of my Bike Buyer's Guide. It's got training guides, stuff like that. It's called Do Not Does Anybody Bible. Go to donotter.com. And uh, then, yeah, anyway, so that's the Trekker Mondas, uh, the Giant Defy. Fans of both bikes, I would lean more towards the Trek based on the brake choice. Um, and the frame is going to be very close to the carbon ride quality. But at the end of the day, these bikes can fit 30 mil tires on there, 28 mil tires. So if you're only 28 mil tires, it doesn't matter what your frame is made out of, it's going to be comfortable enough. And they're both going to be stiff enough because they're 2019 bikes, so they're engineered well. Anyway, hopefully that gives you a bit more insight. And if anyone has any more questions, what bikes to get or whatever, get a copy of my ebook or ask, ask some questions down below and I might get back to you. See ya. So I was just inside, so it couldn't be too much personality in there because there's other people in the restaurant. All right, I'll be outside now. Trek Amonda ALR5 disc or the Giant Defy 3 2019. The 2019 bikes, alloy versus carbon. One's got full Shimano groups in there. One's got the semi full. Are the, are the Giant brakes good? I don't know. If you've used them, let us know. And if you have you used the latest uh, Shimano 105s, I had, they're great. Let us know in the comment section down below. Are the new Giant brakes shit or legit? Well, I don't know. Legit or shit? You know, so let us know. Uh, compared to bikes. Test ride, so if you do have the opportunity, Test ride both of these bikes, all right? Just on paper, for me, the Trek wins. Full group set. I'm repeating myself a lot, but I like to repeat, because that's how you learn shit. Full group set, Shimano group set, the latest Shimano 105 R7000 group set, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with the old 5800 group set either, this works great. Shimano have lost the doorknob style levers, which some people didn't like the aesthetic of. I didn't like the feel of them that much, but again, it's personal preference. Just because I don't like the look or feel, doesn't mean it's bad, all right? I'm not God, I'm only close to God. But anyway, uh, cut that one out. Um, <laughs> so you gotta decide, you know, if you want the disc brakes and get the best, in my opinion, they're the Shimano or SRAM Hydro. Are the giant brakes good? I don't know, this is a question I've asked probably 20 times in the video. Maybe when I'm back in Australia, I'll go test ride one and see what, see what the deal is. Either way, you can't go wrong with either bike, but the Trek on paper wins for me. If you want more comparison videos like this, give it a thumbs up. If you want to go to Bike Buyer's Guide question, get a copy of my Bike Buyer's Guide. It's got in-depth uh, product stuff in there, what I recommend, what my Dura Rider top pick is. Not sponsored, not sponsored by Trek or Giant or, I mean, some, some companies do sponsor me, but I give my, it's, it's, I mean, it's, I've been a bit, a bit of a predicament there. I'll only recommend, if people do give me free stuff for sure, or discount, and I appreciate that, I'm grateful for that, but I'm only going to accept or, and or promote products that I would use myself if I had to pay my own money, all right? So I do rate Trek, I do rate Giant, I do rate Shram, I do rate Shimano. Most of their product I do rate. Some of it I don't, you know? So, and I love that I can be totally fucking honest with you guys and girls out there. If you're sponsored by some companies, they're like, you can only say good stuff about a product. But I like to be, you know, doing rider and just give you my honest fucking 100% answer. If you say, is this bike good for me? I say, nah, man, it's a shit bike for you. Get this one instead, all right? I love, I love having that freedom to do that risk. Yeah, that's a really great bike. And in my head, I'm going, fuck, why would you buy a bike like that? But I can't tell you the honest truth because my sponsor might not like that. So if anyone sponsors me or gives me stuff, they understand that I'm going to be totally non biased and give my viewer the, my 100% opinion. So that's what you're going to get from me. I don't give you my 99% opinion. If you ask for 100% opinion, you're going to fucking get it from me. That's my promise, it's always been like that. It's always going to stay like that. No matter how much money I am on making or not making. Anyway. Thanks for watching. What a good first world problem it is. What bike should I get? The Trek Amondo or the Giant Defy? Hmm, that's a good fucking first world problem to have. Very good problem to have.